Hello, in this video we will learn how to capture a mouse in a window and how to operate when we want to do something outside the window. So if I click for example here and then I move the mouse outside the window, how can this program get the mouse input? Like I have a picture outside the window like this. So is it possible that when I'm clicking something from here then we will see something here? So that's what we are looking at today and let's start doing this. So let's start learning the basics quickly. It's not very a very long video really. It's a quite simple thing actually. It's on a couple of functions we need here. So let's say that we want to draw a line first, just a simple simple thing first. So we need to open the the draw draw function. So let's draw a simple line first. This is MFC what I'm doing here, but this this is also win in win win32 win32 func so just Windows programming so and any any Windows programming I think the principle will be definitely the same so even though I'm doing this for MFC it applies to other other platforms for sure so move to well let's move to somewhere let's say. 100 100 and let's draw a line there line 2 just a simple thing to illustrate uh, okay okay line line to to the point where the mouse is so that's the whole point so I'm gonna save store the point let's put in a protected section so C point M current mouse mouse position current mouse position okay and uh, so we're gonna draw it all the way to the current mouse position and we need to so when we are moving the mouse we want to want to keep drawing that that line from 100 100 so I need to now create a couple of message handlers so we need the mouse move let's go here and quickly do that oh by the way this project this is an STI project and I have a video how to create an STI project and I can put the link link on the description field um, I've done I've made a video about this I'm not gonna start from scratch here so you can watch the video if you need okay so let's continue and uh, there is a view go to properties and we need a couple of fun couple of uh, message handlers Windows message handlers mouse move over there and then we we want also a left button click we're gonna need that soon so I'm gonna take all of them straight away left button down and I think we need also left button up because we're gonna do something with the left button left click soon so left button up also I think we need both of them. So the first version is simple that we're just gonna draw draw the mouse movement. So I'm gonna store the point when we are moving moving the mouse and then just draw the window, invalidate invalidate the whole window and update window like that. And let's see the first version. Control F5 see what happens here we go nice one isn't it so it's following the mouse and um, now let's see straight away what happens so what if I move the mouse outside you see I'm outside here and it doesn't follow anymore right it doesn't do what I want to do I'm moving the mouse well it captures it, it captures it here when I'm coming back to the window right so it will not react and this is not actually the behavior we want in many cases we want it to follow the mouse like you see it, it 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 doesn't follow the mouse if I go outside the window with the mouse so this is what we want to deal deal with first so let's fix that problem first what we need to do is that we need to call a function which is called in a wind windows function set capture set capture will 
capture the mouse and there is a there is a uh, documentation here set capture function and you can read this from here how it captures that but i will be basically showing all of this let's say we do it in a left left button click down click we can have any logic here we want but let's do a logic that when i click left button then we want it to follow the mouse so when we left click i say set capture okay so that will capture the mouse and um, let's have a boolean value also here that we are not following the mouse all the time we only follow the mouse when i do left click so i'm gonna, cr gonna create a bool m mouse track mouse tracking i call it mouse tracking it means that i click left and i'm tracking the mouse and when i do left left up then the mouse tracking ends that's the logic here so um, make it false to begin with and uh, so when we do this i say here that if if it's not mouse tracking well actually the master it's always always when we do left button down we want to start the mouse mouse tracking i guess so we can just say here that mouse tracking equals to true maybe i'll put it before that and then we will capture the mouse and now the interesting question is that when do we when do we want to um release the capture we do it in a left button up yeah that's how it works so i'm gonna say that release release capture okay so that will release the mouse and we also need to stop the tracking somehow so let's do it first here this is actually the, not the best place to do it but it kind of works so let's start doing it here and i, and I will improve it soon let's do it like this so we will start tracking and when left button up we will stop tracking so we want to do this only if we are tracking the mouse that was the logic what we wanted so if we are tracking the mouse then we will store the position and we will draw draw the line otherwise we will not draw the line okay and let's see what happens if i do like this okay and there's nothing happening yet and then i place uh, i do left down uh -huh, nothing happens when i move it starts moving it let's f and if i click again okay it's almost working uh, let's fix that so when we do left button down we s we need to start moving already right so i need to do invalidate update here okay so let's compile again to fix that one Okay, moving my nothing happens left click aha <laughs> nothing happened aha <laughs> so why is that why is it not do doing that invalidate aha i know i know why it's not doing because i'm not storing the mouse position i need to also save the mouse position here when we do left button down because the because the drawing code is using that as you see it's using that here so we need to update the mouse position straight away so let's try now there you go and now i'm moving the mouse okay doing again let's try now if i move it outside the window what happens and as you can see it's working now wonderful you see I'm, I'm moving the mouse outside the window and it's it's capturing the mouse i release the left button now and it all works then i can start again wonderful i can release here and that's it one more time i can release now outside outside the window and it doesn't follow anymore yeah it works kind of perfectly but there's one one thing here which is not really perfect because the release if for example if i do alt tap alt tap on a keyboard i will show i will show here so if i do like this i go outside the window and if i do now alt tap it would release the mouse 
So I'll do Alt tab now. And then I go back to the program. You see, and my mouse is now up. So this is wrong. It's wrong. It should be. It should have stopped it already. So that's the problem here. That uh, the Alt tab, for example, releases the mouse, and um, we are doing. We are stopping the mouse track only in uh, in L button up now. So it doesn't stop that stop that process because it never goes to the L, L button up now. So it, it it keeps following even though I'm not tracking the mouse. So this is a problem. So how do we solve this problem? Aha, now it stops. Now it stops because I do left button up. So it stops that thing. To fix this problem, we need to have one more message handler. And that is going to be called um, capture changed. So this is important function here, capture changed. And we can read that notifies a window that it is losing mouse capture. That's what we need here. So this this mouse tracking thing needs to be needs to be set false here. So if we are losing the mouse capture because we go here, or if if we do Alt Tab for example, in both cases it will go here, and then we we will stop the track tracking thing. Okay, let's try it now. run to normal now I release the mouse it all works so it all works and now if I do now the alt tab thing so I I start tracking now go out outside the window and now I will do alt tab and now I, I will come back to the program you see now it works it doesn't follow it anymore yeah so that fix that problem uh, let's have a uh, task that we want to be able to get the color from from here and when i press that color it will the color will sh will be shown in that window so when i'm running my program when i press this picture the green one the green here we want to see the green uh, the green color appearing here and if i press he from here we want to get the white or the or the gray color showing here so how would we do that okay so let's do that it's gonna be happening in l button up l button up yes when l button up we want to take the color first of all we need to take the desktop window get desk top window okay and i'm gonna capture that pointer I'm just gonna see desk desktop window and uh, this is how we get the desktop uh, the pointer to the desktop window and as you can see it's a CWND we need to get the current cursor position because we if we are here we need to know that where do we get that pixel so to get to do that we say get cursor cursor position cursor pos and now we need to receive it uh, as a point passed into the function so let's create the point c point and um, cursor point and it's asking a pointer so address of that address of that variable so I take the address of that point and now now we have the point uh, in, in desktop coordinates next we need to get the device context to get the device context we can just call the window get device context so that's gonna be the drawing thing so I can just call it uh, device context DC And now this DC is a pointer to the, um, the device context. So the device context handles all the drawing stuff. So if we want to draw something on a desktop actually, or we want to ask something from the desk desktop drawing device, 
context we can use now this pointer. So let's get the pixel value. It just gets pixel, yeah, like that. And then here we need to put that which point we are interested in. We already have that point here, the cursor point. We want the pixel from the cursor point. And now we need to save that point so that we can draw, draw it on the window. So I'm going to create now the color value here. So color ref, color ref, um, I call it uh, desktop, desktop pixel, pixel color. And let's initialize it to white because we don't, by default, we don't want to draw anything. RGB25, uh -huh. 255, 255, two, that's white. So by default, we are drawing a white a rectangle. So let's now go to the on draw function and draw that rectangle for the current color. So here we are. And I will remove now the the line drawing. That was the first example. This is the second example. We are only drawing now the color. So we can take that device context and uh, call a function called fill rect, which is filling the given rectangle with a certain color. Okay, so let's place it at uh, 2020 and make it 150 size. And then the color will be ah uh, it's uh, feel solid rect sorry okay and then this is this will be the color which we're gonna take from the desktop okay and now let's go and now um, save that save that color into this um, member variable so get pixel brings the color value and we will save it now into this member variable and uh, now we need to update the window definitely so I need to say invalidate and update the window let's release first the uh, the mouse maybe and after that let's repaint the window now we have the color uh, let's now see if the other code is correct so we don't need any more the mouse move yeah so I will now comment this out because that was the first test we need the L button down uh, we are storing the point we are tracking the mouse I don't know if we need this anymore but let's leave it there set capture and uh, release capture when we when we do the L button up and um, aha actually the actually the action needs to be here I, I made a mistake here it's not L button up I almost made a mistake myself now so this action actually needs to be happening here <laughs> my mistake yeah needs to be happening there that's what I said at the beginning of the video that it needs to be happening here so and then we're gonna update the window okie doke so um, let's test if this works I will now um, left click Yeah, it took the, that color, so it worked. So I will left click again. Let me take that color, that green color from here. My mouse is now on, on the Visual Studio. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Wonderful. So let's go now and use the picture, right? So here is, here is, the, here is the paint program, paint program here. And uh, our program is here. So I'm going to left click and put my mouse on the rock here you see <laughs> it worked let's do it again I put it on a tree you see we get the color okay that's cool this is how we can capture a mouse from outside the program and outside the program window thank you for watching and see you in the next video